What's going on, guys? I want to talk about something that we're very familiar with hearing. Haven't you heard the famous saying that your, alti your attitude determines your altitude? I know a lot of you guys have heard that saying. We're all familiar with that saying. But um, I want to say real quick, I, you know, there are a lot of people in the world who don't have the best attitude and their altitude is at an all time high. Their, their altitude is at flight. Their, their, their altitude is at flight first class. Flight first, first class. So there are a lot of cliches that people say, but it's not necessarily true. Um, you know, the idea that, um, your attitude determines your altitude is a lie. There are plenty of people in the world who are negative, who are low vibrational beings, and they're living the good life because this life is about looks, status, and financial resources. That's what this life is about. This life is not about having the best attitude. I used to think having a good attitude mattered to people, but I'm realizing it doesn't. There are plenty of people who have bad attitudes in the world, and they're on Mount Everest. They're living the best life. They're toasting up, drinking the Perrier Jouet Grand Brut. I got a review coming, Perrier Jouet Grand Brut. Um, they, they're living their best life. They're drinking the, uh, the, the Bollinger. You know, they're drinking the, uh, the, the, the Armand de Brignac. They have the best life that you could think of. You know, they're drinking the Vauve, Clicquot, Le Grand Dame. They have the best life you could think of. So people just need to stop with this attitude, determine your altitude. There are plenty of people who are negative in the world. People who really are negative. You know, men who are in bad positions, men who are non-select, those men are not negative people. People just want to demonize these type of people as if they are negative people. There really are negative, demonic, corrupted people in the world, but they live good lives. Because people don't care about you having a good attitude. I used to have, that's one thing I really had to get through my head. And that's one thing I truly had to learn in this world. People don't care if you have a good attitude. People don't care if you have a good personality. People only care about what you can produce. If you don't look good to people, if you don't have nothing, then you are nothing in the eyes of this society. And that's what I had to understand. I mean, there are plenty of wicked and demonic people who are living the good life. The life that we so desperately want. So what I'm what I'm understanding, being a decent human being does not matter to people. Believing in God does not matter to people and, and, and having a good attitude doesn't matter to people. You know, you know what the saying really should be. Your looks, your status and your money determines your altitude. That's the new saying that needs to come into effect. That's the new saying that needs to come into effect. Your altitude is determined by your money, your looks, and your status. Your looks, status, and money. People love to say all of these cliches, and we've heard all these cliches for years. I used to really believe that having a good attitude mattered to people. But I see that having a good attitude don't matter to people. People don't care if you have a good attitude. Because if you can't produce nothing, if you can't contribute nothing to society, then people don't care about your good attitude. If you don't have nothing that people can benefit off of, no one cares about your good attitude. And when you look at people who are in high positions of power, you know, big shot caught, big, big, big shot callers, you know, big hot shots. Most of those people, they don't have the best personalities, but they got the looks, they got the status, they got the money. 
That's what matters. See, we've been lied to. And a lot of people been lied to. We definitely been lied to. We've been lied to in this world. We've been bamboozled. We've been gaslighted. There are plenty of evil, corrupted people who are living good lives. Playing golf in Greece. Drinking that champagne. Toasting to the good life. That's the life that we secretly want. My favorite song by rapper Future, and I don't listen to too much rap anymore, is Shawty Want a Taste of the High Life. Toasting up right now how you love that. I think that was on the Purple Rain mixtape, if I'm not mistaken. Lovely, lovely, lovely song. Lovely album, by the way. But if you really take a, 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 a clear analysis, people who are living the best lives, people who have all the success, all the goodness that life has to offer, these people don't have the best attitudes. And these people are living good lives. So that ought to tell you that having a good attitude does not mean anything. It doesn't mean anything because there are a lot of people in this world with bad attitudes, but they live in good because of what they look like or because of what they have. They, they live in high off the hog. They get in the goodness that life has to offer. Because I'm realizing that if people don't like the way you look, they're going to assume you got a bad attitude. Even if you don't have one, your face is the bad attitude, you know? So, um, we, we've been believing a lot of lies, you know, cliches like your attitude determines altitude. No, that's a lie. I mean, when you look at some of the most wicked people in history, they live in the best lives. They have all the success all the greatness, all the all, all the accolades that you could ever want in life. And it's not because they have good character. It's not because they have the best attitude. It's because of what they can produce or what they look like. Because this is a superficial world. So when people tell guys you need to change your mindset, you need to change your attitude. That's all baloney. Don't buy it. Because there are a lot of wicked, demonic people who got the world in the palm of their hands. So we're not trying to hear these gaslighting philosophies that your attitude determines your altitude. These lame cliches, these lame nursery rhymes are played out in 2024. They're played out. And we know the truth about what really determines your altitude in life. Because I used to be delusional and I used to really believe that attitude determines your altitude. But that's a lie. All you got to do is look at the world. Just analyze people very closely and you'll see that some of the most wicked people, some of the most demonic people, they have all the success that you could want in life. They got the money. They got it all. I believe some of your big time uh, government officials. You know, big time CEOs. I don't believe these people have the best attitudes. They just have what it takes to win in this life. They have what it takes to get ahead in this world. And that's what it's all about. But that's my take on this. I'm sure you guys can relate to what I'm saying in this video. Attitude. We would like to think that attitude determines your altitude. But. Um, that's that's not the case. You can have a great attitude and you'll go through life and you'll get treated like a peasant. You'll get treated like trash. You know. I've come to the realization that you might want to have a bad attitude to get ahead in this world. 
That's what I'm starting to realize. So that's that's what I'm starting to see. But um, you guys have a great Monday. Um, it's a beautiful, sunshiny day. Just wish, just wish there were sunshine in uh, a lot of people's lives. But you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.